Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com, the third week of May, 2021. Chemist Spencer Silver died May 8, 2021, at his home in St. Paul, Minnesota. He died of ventricular tachycardia at the age of 80. Silver worked for 3M, where he invented the adhesive that's used to make post-it notes. One mourner on Legacy.com remembered him as an innovator and a kind man. I have always treasured the memory of meeting Spencer. We had a marvelous long conversation and I was in awe of actually speaking to the person who'd invented such a staple of my own and everyone's work life. He was gracious, warm, an engineer who loved poetry, and a walking medical pioneer as well. It was only one evening's conversation, but memorable for a lifetime. Aspiring journalist Damon Weaver died May 1st, 2021, of natural causes at the age of 23. He is being remembered for becoming the youngest person ever to interview a sitting president. He was just 11 when he interviewed Barack Obama in 2009. One mourner on Legacy.com said, Although I did not know Damon personally, I had the sweet experience of watching him interview President Obama. What an amazing young man! Such thought-provoking and excellent questions. He was fun, thoughtful, and polite. Actor and stuntman Chuck Hicks died May 4th, 2021 in Las Vegas. He died after suffering a stroke at the age of 93. He played tough guys in several Clint Eastwood movies and portrayed the brow in the 1990 movie Dick Tracy. Hicks is being remembered as a character actor who played many unforgettable roles. Politician Buddy Romer died May 17, 2021 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He died of complications of diabetes at the age of 77. Romer served as governor of Louisiana from 1988 to 1992. He is being remembered for his unconventional style and for being the first governor in U.S. history to switch political parties while in office. Songwriter Patsy Bruce died May 16, 2021, at the age of 81. She is being remembered for co-writing the country music classic Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys. She wrote it with her ex-husband, singer-songwriter Ed Bruce, who died in January, just four months before Patsy did. Actor Charles Grodin died May 18, 2021, at his home in Wilton, Connecticut. He died of bone marrow cancer at the age of 86. He starred in movies like Midnight Run, The Heartbreak Kid, Beethoven, and many more. Grodin is being remembered for his hilariously deadpan comedy. One Mourner on Legacy.com wrote, I never cared what the movie was about, what genre, whatever. If Charles Grodin was in it, that was the movie for me. I loved him. He was the embodiment of acerbic, and he pushed all my buttons. Comedian Paul Mooney died May 19, 2021, at his home in Oakland, California. He died of a heart attack at the age of 79. He wrote for Richard Pryor and the sketch comedy TV shows in Living Color and Chappelle's Show. He is being remembered for making people laugh while talking about uncomfortable truths, as one mourner on Legacy.com said, One thing about you, you did not bite your tongue. Sometimes life can be brutally and truthfully honest. Fly high, Mr. Mooney. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.